in this video, I'll show you how to change the default OneDrive or SharePoint sharing links. And by that, I mean, if you're in OneDrive or SharePoint and you right click and you click copy link with OneDrive and it's this link right here, it's who it's shared with. So for example, in this one, it's shared just with the organization by default. Okay, and it's very similar in Windows, by the way, you right click, it looks a little different, but it's the same kind of thing, it's called copy link. And the options are that you can share it with anyone, only people in your organization or specific people that you choose. And if you don't have all these options available, you'll know that by clicking settings, see, I can't even select to share this with anyone, I'm restricted. So if that's the case with you, just stick to the end, I'll show you how to change this setting. My name is Bogdan Shpurny, founder of Apex One Tech. All my content is free to you. All I ask is you subscribe and smash the like button. All right, so just to explain exactly what we're going to do here. First of all, understand I'm in OneDrive now. This is on Mac OS, but again, very similar on Windows PC. So if I'm inside a document, a folder from SharePoint that's synced to my OneDrive, right, and I click on a file and you'll have this menu everywhere. It just might look different. It might be a sub menu under OneDrive. So if you click copy link, this is about changing this link here. So you can always go here and change other options, right? Choose specific people you share with, things like that. In this case, right now, this is not enabled to share with anyone. You can also change that here. So the point of what we're trying to do here is, for example, let's say the default was actually shared with anyone and we don't want it to be shared with everyone all the time. For instance, we just want to maybe share files within the organization. So it will be a little annoying to always come here and actually we have an example here. So if I do copy link here, see this one's with anyone. And so if that's what I wanted, then I'm good to go. I just close this, the link's already copied, I paste it where I need to. But otherwise there's extra steps, I have to go here, settings, and then you know choose only in my organization, then click apply, and then get that link. So this just saves you a couple steps. And also one thing to know here is the best way to do this is, there's a lot of OneDrive options here, but always select the copy link option. That's, that's the fastest way. All right, and this is how you change that share link or that default share link. So let's go to the admin center, admin.microsoft.com, click show all, then go to SharePoint, then go to policies, sharing. And what we're looking for here is this right here. So file and folder links, choose the type of link, right? That's selected by default in SharePoint and OneDrive. So as you see for the whole organization, or this is organization wide, I allow it to be, or the default right now is anyone with link. But for myself, I actually prefer, and maybe for a little better security, only people in your organization. Okay, and then just scroll down here and click save. And this should be pretty instant. So if we go back to the same OneDrive folder, SharePoint folder, I click copy link. We see now it says, that is shared only with people within this organization. And for this one, as I was able to share with anyone before, this option is still available, right? And there's a bunch of other settings I can change. Anyone can only view, maybe they can't even download this, okay? So anyways, all those options are still available. It's just now the default is shared only with organization, which just helps your security a bit. And just some advanced options to show you here as well. You can also by default actually just restrict all of this that you know you, that no one can share with anyone in your organization. Okay, that's only restricted to people within your organization or, or guests, right? By default, you know you probably want to be able to share links with anyone. Okay, so you want to leave this here at, with anyone, and this is again overall. You can still control individual sites, SharePoint sites, or file systems as well. So this is just the overall organization wide. And then here, more external sharing settings. Some options you have here that you can limit it by, you know, you add specific domains who can access these files. And then you can also limit it by security groups, which is a, a good way to control, maybe have a, a unique set of people who can only share files externally, maybe just like the business owners. Okay, so you can make a, this is not here, but in another video, maybe I'll link it below or up on the screen, how to make security groups. And you can make like, it's just a group of people that you designate so that you don't have to choose them all the time. Or if they change, you know, you don't have to always go in here and change exactly which user is here who has access. You just make a group for that. So you could do it that way if, if you need more level, more fidelity there. 
Okay, and then there's some other defaults you can do where external links expire over a certain time period, things like that. But again, and this settings here is the one we just changed. And the default also allows people to edit if they need to. So this here, this combination actually makes sense, right? If I'm sharing in my organization, I usually want to allow the other person colleague to actually edit the file. But if I had my default maybe share with anyone, I probably want to change it to view only. So the default, if I give the link out to anyone out there externally, outside the organization, they can only view the file, not edit it. So again, in my case, I prefer this. And here's the expiration. This was the expiration for guests. This was the expiration here. You can set for external links, the default expiration after this many days, that link no longer works. That person can't access that file anymore. And then here you can actually restrict these anyone links. So if you had this selected or just in general, actually, you don't have to have the default changed. But if your site allows you to share with anyone externally, you may want to restrict it to view only. So if it's shared with outside people, they can only view those files. We're OK with view and edit. And again, you would just click save, but we already have this configured. And the last thing here. So what if you want to you know, share? Maybe you want to share this marketing folder. You do the copy link, you want to share it with an ad agency or something like that. Right now, it's restricted to the organization and I can't even select anyone. So in that case, we have to go back to the admin center. Now, it's not the SharePoint admin center, but just the Microsoft 365 admin center. Then go to Teams and Groups, click on Active Teams and Groups, and then select the appropriate folder, the, the SharePoint site that you're working on. So it's this one in this case. Okay, then we go to settings here. And this right here, external file sharing. So this is what you want to change. Right now it's restricted. The highest permissions that it has right now is new and existing guests. So you can restrict it further to existing guests or only people in your organization, but we will actually want to allow anyone. So let's click anyone and click save. Okay, let's go back to our file system here and check what we can share. So we're in that SharePoint folder. Let's go back to this marketing copy link. Okay, so right now it says still the same thing. People in Seller Apex, this organization can edit with this link, but you'll notice we actually do have the option now of anyone, right? So now we do have this option. The default is still the organization. So by default, right, it pops up with sharing only to the organization, but you do have the option now of sharing it with anyone. And that was that team setting. And again, if you want to change this, you would do that like I showed in the previous step of changing the default setting if you want this to be to anyone. So in that case, I don't want that, let's just cancel. And we have that link, all right. Hit the like button and subscribe if you learned something new. I have always have helpful links in the video description below and different ways to contact me if you need more help. You can always post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, take care.